just uh, abduct a ball and continue on your way. Yeah. Other cool things are if you have a ball um, and uh, you charge it up, you don't slow down while you're on the saucer. So you're moving a little bit faster than sprint speed, I believe. Um, but you can maintain a full charge. So, um, you know, imagine getting a, the sniper ball on this thing and zipping around at full speed without having to slow down at all. Super, super useful. Yeah. Speaking of sprint, this is a really small thing, but do you want to hop into the settings real quick, Carlo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're just going to jump all over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's Go to I, gameplay. Yeah. Down at the bottom. Yeah, so, so now there are three options. There's hold, toggle, and now there's auto sprint. So whenever you just start start moving, you'll automatically sprint. Right, as long as you're, whenever you're moving forward, you'll sprint um, unless you're charging a ball. Um, you still use that, that sprint button to, uh, to cancel your, your throw. So you could still, um, still do that. But the auto sprint will never accidentally cancel your, your throws. Yep. And I uh, did see someone, I think it was Noggin, um, mentioned uh, something that we also called out in one of the blogs. You can now look up more, which is uh, is something that I know people have been asking for because of uh, you know strategy and high level league play. People like to to get up high and and use that as an advantage. So now you got a better counter. But we're talking about all the small things here. So why don't we hop in here? I'm going to switch away from because uh, we we do have more secrets to reveal <laughs> soon. Um, but yeah, Carlo is going to start us off in Team KO here. As soon as you're ready, we <laughs> can switch away. Yeah, there we go. Um, also now rocking this this new full alien outfit. Yeah, that thing, um, I mentioned it in the blog, but when it balls up, <laughs> it is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, so, Alien Smash site. Yeah. So this is our new map. It is our biggest map yet, I believe. Uh, it's our biggest map, but but you got those saucers to fly around on, exactly. so it uh, it ends up uh, shrinking the feel of it. But yeah, it's it's a big map. Look at these crew vehicles. I know. <laughs> Putting all other crew vehicles to shame. I love it. Yeah, they're so, so good. good. <clears throat> So yeah, only one person can ride on it at a time, although you can ball up into your, uh, your teammates' hands. I'm gonna hide our camera oh, yeah. so everybody can see here. <laughs> yeah, the, the glare off my head won't blind them. <laughs> like a, I got like a built-in soda ball in my head. <laughs> Is that the inspiration? The <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your design. My, oh no, my, oh no. My receding hairline was the inspiration for the soda ball. Yeah. Is it, this level is, it is dangerous. Like, uh, ults are dangerous. Ultimate mm -hmm. throws are dangerous in this level. Yeah, because you could, you could charge up that ultimate throw and zip across the level at sprint speed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I meant in the other way that, like, if someone is on a saucer over an open pit, oh, yeah. it becomes near impossible to hit them, too. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But then, the, of course, they're over an open pit. So if you manage to uh, dislodge them, they, uh, they have a good chance of uh, falling off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there's a lot of risk, risk reward here. Uh, you can go over these gaps super easily with the with the disc, but you're also just like an open target with not much cover. Right. Yeah. So kind of two different levels. You can see like the dotted blue outline is kind of your your barrier for where you can go. Um, and yeah, you can see here. There's there's the lower level, and then there's the higher level. So that kind of keeps them restricted. It's not it's not like the hideout where you can just go until you hit the. Uh, the, the end where you just kind of get KO'd automatically, which is what happens in the hideout. So when you're on the saucer, you can get off at any time by jumping, and I believe you can also dodge. But if you um, spin or lob, it'll stay below you. So that way you can do your curve and lob shots without risking falling off. Yeah. Um, you can tackle people off the UFO as well. Yes. In fact, that is a <laughs> primary thing that you want to do because you want to get that, that saucer. Yeah. Was uh, Moonball a purposeful uh, choice here, or was it just that was an accident? A lucky, a lucky yeah. uh, thematic matchup here. No, we are <laughs> we are full random on the balls. It's only nice. the map that we're uh, we're locked in on. Here. Yeah. Yeah. 
that little abduction. And the, the saucers also do respawn mm -hmm. um, if they're not used for a little while, if nobody hops on them. I don't sweat 15 seconds something or something like, like, that. like that. Yeah, yeah. you'll yeah. see them start to fade away, and then uh, if nobody gets on them in time, it'll uh, teleport back to uh, its original uh, UFO location. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> makes it so easy to, <laughs> nice. to just... Turn lots of open spaces. It's not like the uh, like parts of Lockdown Throwdown where like you have tons of cage balls, but pits are not as plentiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plant Poppy is saying this map feels humongous and uh, new alien voice. I think uh, here. Let's. Do you want to taunt or something, Carlo? Yeah. <laughs> so we do have new alien voice here as well. Yeah, we got three new voices coming. Alien is the first one up. Yep. Uh, question, uh, will traveling be fixed next season? Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, traveling uh, is fixed as of Tuesday, which is when this um, comes out. Uh, so season four. If you want to finish up that season three Brawl Pass or anything, then uh, get, get to it because yeah, you've got seven uh, days left. Finish up the Deep Space Dispatches. Yep, exactly. Also, all new Deep Space Dispatches. Oh yeah, and uh, they're they're bigger than ever. I think we have it's almost double the amount of uh, time. I think yeah. it was what like twenty two minutes for season three, and there are like thirty nine minutes for season four yep. or something. Yeah, there's a lot more going on. Yeah. Um, really interesting stuff, uncovering the uh, the mystery of these uh, these new visitors. Yep. Um, also a question about turning <laughs> around faster on controller. Yes, that's another thing that uh, increased controller sensitivity. We're doing that in like two phases because there are a couple different things that we want to do. So the first phase of that. Uh, so now 10 out of the 10 on controller sensitivity is more sensitive uh, than it is in season three. Yeah, and it's not, it's not drastic yet, but it is noticeable. I, I love it. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, the more drastic change is still coming. Yeah. And that's just for controller. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see what else is on my list here. Oh, the music. I saw somebody was asking about the music. The the uh, the new music will be in the title screen, and it'll also be in the maps while you're playing matches. Um, but all the other music uh, will still be in the matches as well. So it's just part of the mix of music that you may get during each match. But um, you know, when you boot up the game, um, you immediately get the new music uh, for the entire season. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so this is, this is a small thing, um, but uh, I don't know, I don't think anybody has picked up on this yet, but this farm is actually the farm that we highlighted in our Halloween, uh, like, animation. That yeah, did. Overland Farms. Yeah. Old Farmer Overland. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, yep. Someone uh, asking, where else can we find the new music? Um, I believe, assuming that it goes live when it's supposed to, uh, the three new tracks are going to be up on um, uh, Spotify and Apple Music. And everywhere that the existing soundtrack is today, all three of them will be up as a new EP on the launch day of the new season. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah so you can enjoy those, too. So, yeah, this is a floating farm. Uh, if you get an opportunity to look down, um, you could see the, uh, the crops down there in the same pattern as a dodgeball. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, so the, the farms in Knockout City, of course, have to hover above the, the actual crops. And then this is where the, the barns and the, the 